Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another mail day here at Fully Collectible. Another one so soon, I don't normally do these um, so close together, but something came in that I was just too excited to hang on to much longer. Um, I've got to get into it. Uh, so I've been waiting uh, about 35 days for this to come back to me and uh, got a notification that it had been shipped yesterday, arrived today. Really excited to get into that. You can see that little gold logo there. I don't know if anyone's familiar with it, but something very, very exciting there. Also had a couple of other smaller things come in, so we'll just go through those. So, Nat Fife Classified. Found one going for a decent price, so thought I'd jump on it. Now I just need to get the Midnight to match, and that'll be a nice little set there for my Nat Fife collection. Rose Namayunas, Notable Knockouts, UFC 217, so long ago, a first title, that's a beautiful card, 2021 select, still got some of the blue tape on it, that's the Disco, Parallel for 2021 Select. I haven't been able to find any 2021 Select UFC at a decent price, so I think I'll just be tracking down the singles that I want uh, to be able to get the fighters that I want in the parallels that I want. I like the disco variations, they're awesome. Another rose and a holy green. I think I got this at auction for like two bucks, so can't really go wrong. Thank you, eBay. Another one for the Holly PC. Got another break return here. So I think this is just all AFL. Managed to get into another optimum break with North. Someone will want that. More than likely a, uh, a Port Adelaide collector will want that. They're a nice parallel. They do look nice. Jackson Archer. Here to the break for me, Paul Curtis. Bronze DPS, or copper DPS, sorry. 94 of 170. So um, Paul Curtis and Josh Gota are the players that I'm chasing for North Melbourne from this... Um, from this draft. First one on the board. Five more to go. Larky. Header. And uh, I think this was from a pack I won. Tomahawk. Very, very nice. All right, let's get that out of the way. TCG grading. Didn't realise that there was nothing between the bag it came in and the box, so I've put a knife through it, unfortunately. I'll know better for next time. So, I opened a box of first edition MetaZoo Nightfall um, a few months back, and I decided to send some of my favourite cards off for grading. Um, they're absolutely beautiful design. I like the dark artwork. Um, they're absolutely sensational cards. So I thought that those cards would pair really, really nicely with the TCG slabs. They look really, really good with Pokemon and uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and the Magic cards as well. So I thought I'd give these guys a go. Sent 10 cards off to them. And uh, about 35 days later, I've got them back. I haven't looked at any of the grades. Um, so this is a, a blind reveal. I don't know how they've gone. I'm kind of hoping because I ripped the packs myself and everything went straight into sleeves and top loaders and whatnot. Grading show discount. So that's their website there, tcggrading.com.au. Be careful, there are two grading companies in Australia called TCG. Um, one has a white logo, very, very plain. And um, 
This is what you got here. Alright. I don't want to give anything away. I kind of want to see it as you guys see it. Alright, so we'll have to move this box. Some cool cards there. Alright, so we'll move the box off the screen. These going to be basic. Right. Oh, that's the front there. That's the back there. All right, we'll get that off as well. Some very cool packaging. All right, so that's the back of the slabs there. So I want to keep things facing this way. Be super, super careful with the knife. Super careful. All right. Oh, these are nice looking slabs. <laughs> I've got nothing to compare it to. I have no graded cards in my collection currently. Um, but these look very, very cool. Just even the back of them. Okay. This is our first one. Nice solid plastic, doesn't feel flimsy at all. That's the back of the slab, that looks really cool. All right. All right, so this is number one. Oh, 8.5, that's not great. But that's what this is about, this is about, you know, learning about um, what to send in, what not to send in uh, for grading kind of thing. Things might look really cool and really good on the surface and you might be pretty confident that you've pulled them from the pack really clean, but you just never know what's already there um, when they've been packaged. So there's like a little tiny crease on the side here, there. So the corners look good, uh, but there must be some surface issues Maybe even a little bit of centering that holds that back. But that's such a nice looking slab. So if that's the worst one we get, we should be okay. So first one down, so Born From The Earth, I really love that. Full hollow, um, love the design. I was uh, keen to get that one off and uh, get it in a slab. Looks fantastic. All right, so the first one's done. Not an ideal grade, but this is this is a learning curve uh, for the most part. And when I go to submit again, probably with some UFC cards, um, I'm gonna be better educated. So looking at the back of this, the back looks pretty good. Nine. Okay. I can deal with nine. Headless Coal Miner. One of my favourites. It's such a cool looking card though. That's again um, the full hollow. Number 11 of 163. I think for this for this card, for MetaZoo, I think this is the right slab. It just, it just looks right. I think if you were to put these in like a PSA or even a Beckett slab, I just don't think it'd look right. Um, but that looks fantastic. Really, really nice looking slab. All right. So 8.5 to 9, hopefully we're only getting better from there. Um, I'm hoping my very, very favourite from this submission goes for 10. But here we go. Headless Horseman 9. Number 2 of 163. 
This is the um, reverse hollow. You can see the um, the stars just inside the design, not all throughout. Beautiful card. Nine. It's not bad. Not bad. I'd love a ten. I'd love to see one ten in this submission. But let's see. Just go. 8.5. Did the quick reveal and it let us down. So, full hollow. Um, I did price these up as well before I sent them off. Um, so these that I've sent off are cards that are trending for more than $10. Um, otherwise, the process is just not worth it. Uh, so that's why one like this would get chucked in. Not necessarily my favourite design, uh, but one that I wouldn't mind moving on if someone was interested in it. Probably won't move on the Headless Horseman and the Coal Miner. I really like those cards. But we'll see how we go. Right. Just show those ones to the back. Can we get a 10? Just one 10. Oof, nine. Luffalang. Again, with the uh, reverse hollow. It's a nice looking card. Um, I'd like to know where the shortcomings are. I'd like to know where the flaws are. But you don't get the subgrades with uh, TCG. Maybe they're online, so... After I've had a look at all of these, I might hop on my account and and uh, see if they do let you know um, where the flaws were. Maybe the edge is not quite right up in that top corner. Another nine. All right. Just one ten is what we want. Oh, eight point five, and this is probably my favourite. Injured Cold, giving us some serious Goosebumps 1990s vibes in the uh, full hollow. Really nice card. That grade's a little disappointing. But it looks cool in the slab. That looks cool. So I am planning on building like a little display for these guys so I can have them sort of up and I can kind of look at them every day because they are beautifully designed cards. Come on. 9.5 Wendigo. Love the Wendigo. Reverse holo. 5 of 163. Sort of even didn't really pay attention to the numbers too much when I sent them off. Just sent off some of my favourites and some of the ones that were trending quite well. 9.5. It's okay. I'm, I am kind of hoping we get one 10 though, just one. Even if it's not one of my more favourite cards, just one 10 so I can have a look at it. Just one ten, please. Oh, nine. Grim Reaper. Full hollow. Ooh. One of one sixty-three. <laughs> I don't know if it really works that well with these um kind of cards as it does with sports cards, you know, having number one, having the the first off the print line really means that much. I haven't done that much buying, trading and selling of uh, MetaZoo. I um, I bought a first edition Nightfall box, I think with the intention of holding it and seeing how it appreciated, but it was a box of cards and it was, it was in the house and I got bored one day and I just ripped it. <laughs> so that's how well that went. Can we get a 10? Can we get a 10? Can we get a 10? Please, please, please. 9.5, Hope Diamond. 
So this is one that's uh, trended quite well. Uh, it's a full hollow. Nice design. Our last chance. Last chance for a 10. I don't even remember what this is now. Hopefully there's something cool. Please be 10. 9.5 Twin Meteor. That's um, the reverse, I think, or is it full? Nine point five. It's a little bit disappointing, but to send these off and get them graded was really trial and error on my part um, to get an idea of the process and what it was like and how to submit and how easy it is um, and some of the downsides and whatnot. But this submission process was so easy super super easy um just box them up printed off a form off the website filled it out put it in the box with the cards and sent it off um and then 35 days later i get my cards back so really really simple grab my favorite ones mr reaper Wendigo, I do like that one. I am very disappointed that that got an 8.5 because it's, it's one of my favourites, but for these to get nines, um, I love the design of those cards. I'm a big fan of the, the darker imagery. I haven't really gone in and had a look at the MetaZoo UFO release um, a little while back. Um, I really like the design of these cards. So, got a 9.5 on the Wendigo. That's pretty good. That's probably the pick of the, pick of the submission. Really, really nice. So looking forward to being able to have those up. Um, I'll have to get a little case or a little stand for them so I can have them up all the time in the office. Um, but I'll definitely be looking to submit again and probably this time with UFC, uh, UFC cards. Um, UFC cards that are, are great and just tend to do a lot better. And um, I've got a stash of, of patties and and uh, other really really hot targets at the moment in my little in my little collection there. So I'll probably send some off a little bit later on this year, and hopefully we can improve on a nine point five. Hopefully we can get a ten. But overall, really really happy with the submission. Um, happy with how easy it was. Wish the scores were better, but hey, doesn't everyone when they send stuff off for grading? So TCG grading, um, look for that logo when you Google them, uh, because like I said, there are two grading companies in Australia called TCG. Um, so if you like the look of these slabs, which why wouldn't you? They're beautiful. Nice reflective. Solid. Don't feel flimsy at all. Um, stack nicely. Then... Why not give them a crack? Uh, this was a bulk submission deal that they had on. I believe they do it all the time. This was 10 cards uh, for 150. Uh, so, yeah, do the math on that. It's not a bad deal. Um, I'll probably look to send some more off later on and see if we can improve on a 9.5. Thanks a lot, guys. Appreciate your time. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, please consider dropping a comment, uh, subscribing, uh, liking the video really helps us with visibility as well. 
you want to see more card content, you can head over to Instagram and follow me there. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks a lot, guys.